Hello. Okay, next tutorial. Um, this look is something I just made up on the spot. I was out shopping today and I saw loads of sequins and I thought, ooh, look, <laughs> tutorial time. So here it is. Okay, this look was requested by you, so I put their name there. Um, they requested new Club Good looks and I'm pretty sure you could say this is a Club Good look. Yeah, but I mean, you can, hopefully you should be able to tell what it is. Basically, um, I liked, I, I, well, I saw black and white sequins and I thought the best way to use them would be to do the Chinese symbol for yin and yang, or yin yang. I don't know a massive lot about it, so please don't shout at me for getting it wrong. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's opposites. So like good versus evil, sort of, I think, I mean, that's a theory, but, and like light and dark, high and low, opposites and how things balance out and equal each other out. And, yeah, would you just say peace? <laughs> um, but yeah, this tutorial is quite easy. The only thing about it is it's incredibly time consuming. I think as it is now, oh my goodness, I think I've been doing this for about two hours now. So, <laughs> so if you like this look and you want to see how to do it, stay tuned. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. <laughs> okay, okay, so I'm all shaved and moisturised and all that jazz. Um, okay, I'm going to start by tracing on the symbol. Now, I mean, the usual symbol goes like that, doesn't it? I mean, so it's colour there, um, black there and white there or whatever. So to make this a bit interesting, I mean to make it easier as well, I'm going to flip it so it's on the side, so that way the two circles can be my eyes. Um, and I'm going to use a, I'm choosing a face fix coal pencil, like the same that I used in my um, Elmasca inspired look thing. Um, just purely for the fact that it rubs away, I mean coal pencils just smudge and they're gone. Okay, so it's going to be quite difficult to do this, it's just a stencil. Um, it doesn't have to be completely neat, because as I said, you're not going to notice these lines. It's just a guideline for where to stick that certain bits and where to colour. Um, I, these circles I'm just doing as a guideline again, because I'm planning on doing like a what black smoky eye and a white smoky eye, something like that. So I'm going to do, so this is going to be the black side with the white circle, and that's going to be the white side with the black circle there. So I'm now going to take my watercolours, I'm using a black and white, Snazaro watercolour, and I'm going to start with the black side, I think. Okay, I'm going to load up my brush in black, and I'm going to start. Now, I'm not going to go anywhere near this line. I can always add watercolour to it afterwards, but um, I want a fairly, I want to be able to colour that white and then do some smoky stuff with some eyeshadows. And that's really important to keep within the lines. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to do a second coat, and then do exactly the same thing and do a third coat, just so it's nice and even. It doesn't ma matter massively, because again, it's just a background colour, just to, for the sequins, but... Okay, and when you're relatively happy with that, you can start on the white. So I'm going to take the Snazzery white, and do exactly the same. Okay, so when you're happy with that, make sure to do a dry, do another coat, and then again, another coat, so when you end up left, three coats on each side. Good point to remember, and this is pretty much true of any face paint, especially if you're doing white and black. Um, if you get too close to the line when you neaten it up, you'll end up getting black on the brush, which means it's probably best to change brushes, because if you do that and then go somewhere else, you'll spread grey. Basically, the colour will mix and it'll ruin the white, because it needs to look pure white and pure black, so, so just swap brushes if you do that, or clean the brush and then... Okay, so when that's done and you're happy with it, um, we can start on the next step. Um, if you're worried about your eyebrows just being on show, doesn't matter, because I didn't, didn't put wax on for a reason. Um, I'm covering the whole areas, as you've probably seen in the first part, I'm covering it all with sequins. Now, the sequins I'm using are these. Basically, I was out in town today, and I saw some amazingly beautiful, well, I'm not using it, but some amazingly beautiful sequins. Um, and I just thought, hey, why not? Um, but yeah, they're just assorted different shapes, different sizes of um, white, silver, black, glittery black and all that. <laughs> okay? Um, the other ones, actually, I've got these as well, but that's for a tutorial one other day. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm literally going to be applying the ones that are darker shades, so blacks and the dark silvers and stuff on here, and the whites and silvers on there. Okay, so I've just taken a few out in the glass. Um, just because I've worked time forever to sift through all of them to get the colours I want. Um, make sure that all of this makeup and mine's not dry yet. Make sure it's bone dry before you start sifting mine because you'll be battling with 
it not sticking to your skin and you'll get frustrated with it and we don't want that. So, or I get frustrated with it anyway if that happens. But I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna apply the sequins. Okay, there's a million different ways to apply these. Um, you could, I mean, you could always use like lip, if you want to get to be on for like a, sh a photo shoot or just a small thing, not gonna have it on for long, you could use um, a cheap lip gloss and then just apply a little bit to the underside of the sequin and stick it down, it will stay put. Um, you could use um, an eyelash glue, you could use anything like that. I mean, it's some top of face paint, so it's not gonna hold forever. I mean, you don't have to paint this in, there's no paint, it's just to give it a background colour, so, well, yeah, it just looks more of an impact. Um, if you're going to actually use a real, a proper adhesive, skin and, like, prosthetic adhesive, then it will hold on better. Like, I'm using uh, Mastix Extra um, Grimace, which is, uh, as I said in my videos, it's basically spirit gum, um, and it needs a solvent to get it off. You can use that, I mean, you could use Pro Stick, or Pro Zaid, however you want to call it, Pro Zaid. Either way. It'll work so. so yeah, I'm literally gonna start by applying well, I'm gonna start with the black ones first. I'm gonna under just do a very, very small coat underneath one sequin. I mean you can as I forgot to say you can get the sequins anywhere, I mean. You just need black ones and white ones, or a mixture of black, white and silver like I've got, um, from any craft shop. And I'm just gonna stick it right near the edge where the line is. And I've just realised this is gonna take me a very long time. So if you do this look you have a lot of patience. <laughs> so just keep doing that. A small amount of the mastics underneath. Um, not too far apart. Anywhere there's a, where there's a massive gap, I'm going to go in later and stick a different colour in. Like a, a lighter shade so it's a bit sparkly. Okay? So just do that all over and then we'll start on the white. Try to be as patient as you can with it because if you start rushing it will start looking weird. Like if you end up applying like the mastics directly to the skin, you end up smudging the black and transferring the black to the part and all that, and it's going to take forever. And yeah. Some of these sequins are quite big, like these ones, and I'm using the edges just to make the lines a bit crisper. So I'm placing it just where the edges are. So okay. So it's like it all shine like a mosaic kind of thing. Okay, so now that's done. It actually took me about 15 minutes, so that's not too bad. So I've not covered the whole area, I've not gone over my lips because you won't be able to talk then. And it'll be difficult, so I'm going to do something else for that in a minute. I'm going to take some petroleum jelly, um, or other than Vaseline or anything like that. Um, you could use lip gloss, I suppose. Or a flat spray glue, but I'm going to start getting really uncomfortable. Just going to take a bit of a sponge, just load up the sponge a little bit like that, and just dab it on like that. So when the whole area is covered, I'm going to take some black glittery, as well sparkly glitter. And I'm not sure who this one is actually. Oh, Mary Kate and Ashley. <laughs> I think I might have bought this last time I was over in the States. And I was going to tap it. And it will start sticking to the Vaseline. You can use glue, but it's going to feel really, really uncomfortable. Try not to get it too near the white. As long as the paint's dry, it shouldn't stick to anything other than the Vaseline. Okay. So that's the white black side done for now. I'm still going to do something else afterwards. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the white silver sparkly sequins on the opposite side. Now they're the same shape and size, I and mean, it's just a pack of assorted sequins. And I'm going to do the exact same and stick them in random places, okay? Before you start on the white side, it's incredibly important that you wash your hands, because if you start spreading black, because at this point you have black and glue on your fingers, if you start spreading the black and glue, it's going to start looking speckly. You don't want any sign of black anywhere on this white. Okay, so when you're done, it should start looking like this, okay? mosaic face. <laughs> I'm going to do exactly the same as before. I'm going to take some Vaseline on my sponge and just on a clean sponge because you don't use that because you like black and yeah. So I'm just going to dab that on here. Okay so once the Vaseline's all on I'm not going to apply the glitter like I did on this side because unlike the other side this side has now got um, Vaseline on it. 
So I'm going to need to top my head and apply it here. So I'm going to use the same sponge, but well, it doesn't matter, same sponge, just the side of not the Vaseline on. And I'm just going to stipple it down. Okay. Okay, so when you're done, it should start looking like this, and you should have glitter everywhere. Like me. <laughs> um, I didn't think that through too well. Never mind. Um, okay, so now I'm going to start on the eyes, okay? So I'm going to do a white smoky eye on this eye and a black smoky eye on this eye. Okay, so I'm going to start with the black smoky eye. Um, I'm going to use watercolour because it's going to be quite big and, as I said before, MAC fluid line, the black one I usually use for this, um, takes forever to get off afterwards, so. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to literally do a circle shape, doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be neat because I'm going to smoke it out afterwards. So just colour in the eye socket and wing it out a little bit. And I'm going to go underneath. Okay, once I'm happy with the shape that I've got, I'm going to go in with the white watercolour. I'm just going to colour in around it. Okay, and I'll do exactly the same with the same method on the other arm. We'll do this shape with the black on, with the white on this side. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to go in and go out with some eyeshadow. Okay, so for the black eyeshadow, I'm going to take um, a fluffy brush and I'm going to be using um, MAC, I think it's Black Tide, I think, or something like that. Yeah, something like that. And <laughs> it's like a black glittery eyeshadow. And I'm literally going to apply it to the edge and sweep it outwards, making it bigger here and here than in the centre. Okay, so once the edges are buffed out and blended, I took some Vaseline and I just dabbed underneath the eye and around where the white is that's not got any blending on it. So I'm going to take the same sponge that I had before and just press it in. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same on the white, but instead of using white eyeshadow, because I don't think it's going to go very far on the black, I'm just going to use an even finer white, um, well this is silver glitter, but I'm going to use a fine white eyeshadow. I think this is the Mary Kate and Ashley one as well. Sequin dust. I'm just going to apply some uh, petroleum jelly, some Vaseline, all the way around the edges. Covering all of the black, because I'm going to be putting black sequin dust there as well. So. Okay. okay, so I can keep track of this. I'm literally going to use a small fluffy medium brush brush and just dip it in the eyeshadow. And I'm just going to press it on the edges. Okay, right, at this point, you could literally stop the tutorial, you could do, leave it as this. You could apply some black watercolour all the way around here to cover your skin. Um, and you could even put, just put mascara on. I'm going to do one step further though, and I'm going to use my false eyelashes, because I just love false eyelashes and I think they complete every look. Especially if you put them underneath. Now I'm using exactly the same as I did with my flower power, or flower, whatever that tutorial. I'm going to use the big lashes and I'm going to stick them underneath. Like that, okay? Okay, so I've completed the look by applying some Sephora lashes on this side, on the top and bottom, which the silvery metallic key and there's a hint of purple in there. So they look quite pretty. And um, the big lashes on the top and bottom. Okay? And I applied a white contact lens and a black contact lens. Okay, so now I'm just gonna. I was planning on painting all of this black, and then it just, just dawned me. I mean, if that will look too much, too much black on this side, I think. So instead, I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and just smudge the edges out a little bit of that brown eyeliner I used. So then at least it will look a little bit of a shadow. So it's kind of like a mask. So yeah. 
Ta da! That's it. <laughs> um, I completed my look. Well, I accessorized my look with the uh, my little beanie hat and my little black tunic. But I mean, you can accessorize this look however you want. Um, I think this looks more simple and effective if you it's flat. I think if I did this look again, I might use bald cap and then paint continue the pattern. But so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if you liked, make sure to do the thumbs up and and comment and subscribe and all that jazz. At the moment, I think I just hit 972 subscribers. Um, so yay! Thank you guys. Hello, new people. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye, bye-bye. <laughs>